back to Bloom's Finding Balance Edition. Joining us with easy ways to balance out your diet is longevity dietitian, gut health expert, and the author of Healthy Cooking for High Performers, Ella DeVar. Ella, it's always so great to see you. Likewise, Gail. All right, so I love this. You actually went to the lengths of making plates for your clients to make it super easy to remember what we should be eating and how we should be eating it. Yes, I mean, I specialize in nutrition education and it's my job to make it easy for my clients to remember everything they need to incorporate into their daily intake. And creating this plate a few years ago really helped my clients to have it memorized visually. That if you look at this plate, most of it, over 65% is plant-based. Half of the plate, everything that's on the left is actually vegetables. Most of it is cruciferous colorful non-starchy vegetables or as we call them in the nutrition world free food <laughs> because most of them are very low in calories and high in fiber we have actually a graphic that we made of these and I love how creative you are you show pictures of the types of foods yeah. that we should be looking for in our grocery store so and, and how much we should be eating of it so I can see like where you have starchy but healthier foods like potatoes yeah. the wedge isn't quite as big Yes, it's less than 25% of the whole uh, dietary intake throughout the day. And they also have a separate section here for fruits and antioxidants. And there are also some spices in there added, like turmeric and ginger, just to have my clients remember that those things are also important. And even if you don't eat them every day, make sure that you have them throughout the week. And there's also a separate section for healthy proteins and healthy fats, which are essential for hormone balancing and optimal metabolism. And they're also there. And uh, the, the portion really matters. You see how small it is? Um, protein is over uh, around like 20% of our total dietary intake. And it really helps my clients to remember at the end of the day, if they skipped breakfast or had a sandwich for lunch and they're thinking, what's for dinner? Look at this plate and see what's missing. Did you eat vegetables today? No, you got your answer. You got to eat vegetables for dinner. Or if you haven't had any fruits all day, definitely something that, you know, um, worth incorporating yeah without a doubt and you also are a big believer in cooking at home and preparing yeah. your meals at home and i know um and we've got a surprise i was sticking around we're going into the kitchen but i've really uh, just by listening to you and learning from you i have figured out ways at home to work everything i need into like a shake because yeah. i don't have time really to eat before the show but i i, I wasn't getting nutrient dense you know foods in my, yeah. so now i just blend them up yes. and bring them to work such an easy way to eat more vegetables and more nutrient dense foods and again it's my job to make you eat them and I try to make it easy for my clients you know if they've got preference or uh, you know schedule a lifestyle that doesn't work for them I work around it and I really personalize the dietary intake and smoothies happen to be the easiest way to make adults and kids eat more vegetables and more nutrient dense foods and you're right I, I, I switched it out for some processed bar that I thought was healthy then it, it and I started making the smoothies putting in the greens putting in everything and yeah. I feel better every day because my body's getting what it needs. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> Absolutely.